Hi Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for mid-December to the end of December 2021. This is a reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Pisces. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me if you would like. All that information is in the description box. All right, Pisces, let's see what is the overall energy for you mid-December. All right, we have divine timing, and then I also have the commitment card that flashed out. So yeah, divine timing. Isn't that fun, divine timing? I'm not gonna say much about that. Just know that things are working in the way that they are meant to be working, all right? Um, everything is happening when the time is right, meaning when things are aligned, all right? It's not just a specific time. Um, on the timeline of life, right? It's not like, oh, okay, on this date, right, this will happen. It's divine timing is when certain things are aligned. But let's see, let's get into this. For Pisces. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're watching for yourself or cross-watching. And also keep in mind that if you, when you do cross watch, sometimes the other person's energy that can show up might not be yours. It might be somebody else in that person's life. So just something to keep in mind. All right, uh, Pisces, let's see, situation. We have the Ace of Cups crossed by the Two of Cups. What? <laughs> I knew this was going to be a divine um, soul connection just with that divine timing card. Um, so yeah, if you don't feel like this is a very deep soul connection, um, this reading might not resonate for you, okay? So definitely a lot of love. I feel like just really manifesting it is what the challenge is here. That's why we have the Two of Cups in the challenge position is this partnership actually coming together, although that love is there. So yeah, pretty vague for now, but let's get into this and see. Um, for your recent past, we have the Five of Pentacles. Your current energy, we have justice. Near future for you, we have the Page of Wands. All right, for them, in the recent past, the King of Wands, present, the Page of Pentacles. Near future, the Ten of Cups. And potential outcome here, we have the King of Cups. Okay, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 lots of love. Lots of love. Um, I feel like you, um, you were feeling some kind of a loss in the recent past or possibly feeling rejected, abandoned, or just like left out in the cold, possibly just very pessimistic, um, maybe even feeling victim to your own self or to a particular situation, just a very pessimistic type of a feeling here with that Five of Pentacles. However, I feel like you are balancing out currently, all right? With the Justice card, we also have, um, this is Libra that is showing up, so maybe some of you are dealing with the Libra, but definitely coming into some kind of a balance or just making a big decision that is bringing balance into your life or whatever that decision is, if you're making one, it's the right decision that you are making here. And I feel like with the Page of Wands then being in your near future, this is opening up the path for something new here. And not only that, whatever that something new is, it's giving you some kind of motivation to move in a particular direction. So it's looking pretty good for now. For them, yeah, this person was actually feeling pretty good in the, in the past. I do see them also having a lot of passion here, being very driven. So I don't know why you were in that Five of Pentacles energy, but we'll see. Um, yeah, there's something, there's either something that they're learning at the moment, and I feel like that's why we have the Divine Timing card, like something still needs to fall into place here with them being in this Page of Pentacles energy. Regardless though, it's like they're giving very little to this at the moment. They're not giving much energy to this, to this connection, however, they are moving into that Ten of Cups energy, right? which is happiness, fulfillment, just totally moving towards love. And then we have the King of Cups and the potential outcome. I mean, wow. So also a lot of water energy, which is also in your element. Some of you might be dealing with another water sign. 
Let's clarify. Let's see the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles showing up again, the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody, it feels like somebody abandoned this, this connection. I don't know who it was though. Because I see them being driven, them wanting this. So I d definitely don't feel like it would be them, but who knows, sometimes people go against what they, what they truly want. Um, This is somebody abandoning love, not, not moving towards love here. Because the love is definitely there. I mean, now we have the Queen of Cups also showing up. But this, this conflicted them. However, it, it also feels like there are some challenges that whoever it is that abandoned this, there are some challenges that are meant to be overcome. Because now we're getting the Page of Pentacles again, which was in their energy. And so it feels like there's something that they need to learn through these challenges. Like this is somebody who possibly needs to learn how to fight for love and how to fight for what they want and to fight for, e for emotions regardless of what is happening in their external environment or regardless of external influences, even if that external influence is just society or just conditioning. Because I feel like that, this has actually left both of you feeling in that Five of Pentacles energy. Both of you feeling pretty much alone and like love is just lacking, even though it's like right there, like right in front of your faces. So let's see. Let's see this Five of Pentacles for your recent past. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Okay, so yeah, you you were feeling a loss, you were feeling this loneliness, you were feeling some kind of, again, it just, I can't help but feeling like a victim, but I feel like you got on the path to healing that, and I feel like you might still be healing that, all right, having justice here. You're still healing that, you're still in the process of things balancing out, but you're on a very good track here, all right, especially having this Knight of Pentacles in the, in the recent past. It's like, you were like, nope, you know what, I'm moving away from this um, victim type of mentality, possibly even a fear of abandoning others for some of you. Maybe, I mean, because this could definitely be a fear of leaving others out in the cold. Um, but for others of you, it's that, that feeling like a victim within your own self because you, there's a lack of something. And you got on the right path here and moved towards an energy of healing, healing that. All right, let's see justice for your current energy. The Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're taking those initial, those initial steps. Almost like you're even researching what it is that you're trying to do here in some way. And so you're really, really focusing on this. And it's like you're doing great. <laughs> Six of Wands, I mean, that's success. That's victory. This is overcoming challenges. And I feel like you're even able to recognize that in your own self. So whatever it is that you're doing right now, Pisces, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Stay focused. Stay focused because it's leading you to success, big time. This is a really positive reading so far. All right, Let, I, it might even be the most positive um, out of all the signs this time. Because some of them were not. <laughs> some of them were not all that positive. So let's see, let's see the King of Wands. I don't want to speak too soon, but I already did. <laughs> let's see, King of Wands for their recent past and we have strength and we have the page of wands for them as well yeah um i don't know 
why, you know, it, I feel like you were in different types of energies in the recent past. You were feeling this abandonment or, you know, that victim mentality or just like maybe even unmotivated. Um, but this, another person here that you're dealing with um, was actually feeling pretty strong. I feel like this person is someone who feels like they have, obviously there's love here, I mean, it's all over the place, but they feel this passion for you. They, I'm almost getting that this person is like, yes, you know, we can do this. It might take some strength, but we can do this. We also do have Leo showing up um, twice here, especially, yeah, because we have the King of Wands and strength. But this person has definitely found some motivation for this connection in the past. And I feel like it's still there, even if they're not giving much. Let's see, Page of Pentacles. All right, we have Death. So Scorpio showing up, Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this person isn't giving much at the moment to this connection. I feel like they're kind of doing their own thing. They got, they found strength and motivation and a drive to move in some kind of a direction here. I do feel like they do have these strong feelings for you. Obviously, we do have the Ace of Cups, but I feel like the reason why they're not giving much to this connection at the moment is because they're undergoing their own transformation here. They're taking steps in order to manifest love in some way but I feel like it's happening it's almost like it's happening independently from you even though this is related to you and it could even be that they have ended some other cycle in their own life in order to start planting the seeds um, for this connection for love But they're definitely not giving much at the moment, but that's also because there's something they are learning as well. And whatever it is that they're learning, they're learning it through this, some kind of an ending or through some kind of a transformation here. So let's see what is coming up. Let's see the Page of Wands for you. The Eight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely leaving something from the past behind. All right, you're, it's like you're ready to take on a new path here. You're moving away from whatever is not serving you, and I feel like it's related to that decision, and it's, it's feeling like you are fully relieving yourself of some kind of a burden here that you were carrying for a long time. Look at you, like that Six of Swords, you're just so moving away from that. An Eight of Cups, and in the middle is that Ten of Wands, like some kind of a heavy burden that you were carrying. It's like, yo, you're walking away from it, ready to take that new direction. I don't feel like it's this person here because there's a, there's too much love <laughs> between the two of you for it to be referring to this person. Um, but, you know, I don't know. You would know. I just can't imagine it being that. I see it being whatever was keep keeping you in a um, victim type of a mentality or um, just feeling feeling at a loss or feeling pessimistic or depressed. All right, let's see the Ten of Cups for them. the Knight of Cups, the Devil, and the Four of Cups. Okay, they want to move towards you. It's like they really want this connection with you, but there's this huge fear that they're going to be um, rejected by you or that you're not going to want to take their offer. Interesting. So they might actually hold back. I mean, they're in that energy, right, of wanting that Ten of Cups, wanting that happiness, wanting the love, wanting the connection with you. But they might feel like you might not be ready or that you might not want it 
for some reason or another. That's interesting. And it feels like this 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 fear might kind of be um, affecting them a little bit negatively. But you know that that could be part of this lesson here and part of the divine timing, something that needs to actually align. And it could be you know that maybe maybe you don't want it just yet, because I'm not seeing it as much on your end as I am seeing it on their end. Who knows? But I definitely feel like you like you're there's. You're wanting this as well. You're wanting this as well, but there's something maybe that you are still healing or this decision might be so fresh for you that, you know, it's like you're more focused on that at the moment and this person might be able to pick up on that. But you're definitely wanting that. Um, at least that's how I'm seeing this and how I'm feeling it. All right, let's see the King of Cups for the potential outcome. All right, and we have the nine of the sorry, the knight of swords, the five of swords, and the nine of pentacles. Well, that's definitely action, okay, towards this love. I feel like I feel like this is you wanting this connection, right? Wanting to have this love with this person, but possibly, possibly feeling like. Like you also want to make sure that you hold on to your independence. I'm also seeing this as you actually fighting for what it is that, that you want. Even if that means having to um, disappoint other people in order for you to have the love that you want. Putting yourself first basically. Especially with that Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Taking that action. You or them. I mostly see this as being you because I see them as, you know, really wanting this and not having issues like that. But yeah, it could go, it could go either way. Alright, Pisces. Let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have back to what you love, reevaluate your desires. And yeah, I feel like that's what you're doing. That's what I was just saying. Um, going after your own desires, reevaluating what it is that you want and not being influenced by others or not caring what other people will think because that appears to have just showed up here towards the end. <laughs> All right, Pisces, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.